To get us started, I'd like to address a subject near and dear to all our hearts, and that is food. When we think about food, we're aware of the need for balance. We need carbohydrates, fats, proteins. And proteins, it turns out, are um, a particular issue in nutrition because proteins, unlike carbohydrates and fats for the most part, require a great deal of nitrogen, and nitrogen is scarce. That means that protein malnutrition, the inability to get enough protein, can happen whenever agriculture is deficient or when yields are low, and it's one of the most devastating problems for human health worldwide. So in Western cultures, when we think about getting protein, we may think, well, I need to have a protein-rich food, something which we're going to remember has a lot of nitrogen. We're going to think about, for example, some poultry. And here they are, uh, poultry, a very protein-rich food. Now, we're thinking about the theme of nitrogen. It's a critical element. Where do these animals get their nitrogen so that they can make protein? They get it from plants. And uh, ultimately, of course, whether we eat meat or eat plants, all human protein ultimately comes from plants. So that raises the question, where do the plants get their nitrogen? And the answer is they get it from the soil. Soils include compounds such as nitrates. They will include organic nitrogen, which might be um, provided from manure or decomposition of plant matter. And the plants will take up this nitrogen. They will synthesize amino acids from the soil nitrogen. And from those, they make proteins. And then we, in turn, can get our protein from those plants. However, if a field is used over and over again, ultimately it becomes depleted for nitrogen. And that means that this infertile soil is not able to support plant yield or plant nitrogen. Now, how do we overcome that? At large scales of agriculture, when fields are used uh, quite often, then um, the soil can be restored by applications of uh, nitrogen fertilizer. It's usually in the form of ammonium. Now, ammonium, remarkably, can actually be made from molecular nitrogen, which is in the air, which is very abundant, as you may know. It's the vast majority of, of the atmosphere is made of nitrogen, but it's incredibly inert. It won't combine with anything, these triple bond nitrogen. So in order to coax that nitrogen into a combined form of ammonium, there's a process called the Haber-Bosch process, which um, is able to take molecular nitrogen, con uh, combine it with hydrogen gas at very high temperature, very high pressure with a metal catalyst, and convert it to ammonium. That ammonium can then be applied on a field. The plants will take up the ammonium, they will make protein, and uh, the, the yield is therefore supported. But the problem is this. How do we get high temperature and pressure? It's by using fossil fuels. It's mostly natural gas, um, but other fossil fuels can be used, and we're all aware of the scarcity and the price of fossil fuels and uh, what lies in the future for their availability. That means that we can't necessarily depend on uh, unlimited uh, supplies of this kind of ammonium fertilizer.